Hi everyone, welcome to my garage. In this series, I'm showing you how to create a DIY workbench that's functional and fun, how to upcycle an old rusted metal cabinet, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to completely transform your garage floor and take it from drab to absolutely fab. Here's what you'll need. It's been a solid decade since I've been able to even see my garage floor, but now that we have everything moved out of the way, it's time to really assess the floor surface, and that really starts with doing some prep work. So first things first, I'm gonna give the entire surface a good sweep, and there's a lot of junk here to move out of the way. And anything that doesn't come off with the broom, I then need to go in and scrape with a metal scraper. So things such as paint buildup or plaster, we need those off the surface first. And once those are all loosened up, we can then vacuum the entire surface and then we're ready to spray it down with the hose. It looks as though we've gotten really lucky that all of the concrete surface has accepted the water and it's penetrated well, but had there have been an area where the water was beating on top, we then would have gone in with a degreaser before the etching stage. I've mixed the etching solution with two parts water in a plastic watering can, and now I'm gonna be working in concentrated 10 foot by 10 foot areas. And once we get that 10 foot area covered, I'm then gonna go in with a brush and agitate the surface I'm rinsing the etching solution off of the first quadrant that I've been working within. Now, once I'm finished with the entire garage, I'll go through with one final spray, and then I'm gonna close the garage door, but leave it open just a few inches over the course of the night to let air flow in across the surface and help dry it out, because tomorrow, we're going to be patching. I've gotten up this morning and I've started to fill in all the cracks and divots with a patching compound. Now, I've decided to use Fast Patch. I find when I'm putting this down, it helps to go really thick at first and move it around with a little bit of elbow grease and then go back and back scrape it to smooth it out perfectly. We're almost ready to start mixing the top coat. To start the application process, it's important to start at the back of the garage and work your way forward in about five foot by five foot sections. So I'm gonna start by pouring out the mixture in about a four inch wide ribbon and approximately a foot away from the wall. Now I'm going back in with a brush, the disposable brush, and the idea is you wanna push the coating back towards the edge of the, the wall and get it right into the corner. Now that the coating is brushed against the edge, I'm going back in with the roller and doing kind of W and M formations to unify the finish and have it meet that back wet edge. And that's actually one important thing to keep in mind. You want to maintain that you're working in small areas so you always have a wet edge that you're rolling into. Ta-da! What was once a virtual dumping ground has now become an extension of our home and the garage really feels like an extra living space. The floor has truly become the centerpiece and the jumping off point for the rest of the space. Now be sure to check out my other videos on how to create a fun and functional DIY workbench and how to upcycle an old metal cabinet to a great storage piece for your garage. Thanks so much for watching.